Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope everyone is well. Today is Tuesday, um, day 65, and I wasn't recording when I <laughs> when I X'd it out. So it's the 100 Day Craft Project, Tuesday, April 20. Oh no, sorry, Monday, April 22nd. This is why. Oh my goodness. Um, day 65 of the 100 Day Craft Project. Don't mind me. I'm just being silly. It's Monday. It is Merry Monday. So a few things. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Take a look around. Um, I've been asked about uh, the, the junk journal retreat. So yes, I am doing a junk journal retreat. Um, I did talk about it when I first posted it. Um, we did sell out in two weeks time. So 36 um, people are attending. Um, it is a full class. It is a Junkie, uh, junkie Edition 2.0. It is in Texas, Round Top, Texas. Um, I will be traveling from New Jersey to Texas. So if you're new here, that's what it's all about. It's a junk journal retreat that I am hosting. Oh, I'm sorry, that I am teaching. And the host is the Planner Chicks of Central Texas. They're over on Facebook. You can find their group there. Um, it uh, It is, however, sold out currently. Every seat is taken at the moment. So if you did want to be on a backup, I don't know um, if any spots will open, but you can email me at twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com and just put backup in the um, subject matter and I can send you the info on it. So if there was a spot that would open up, um, you would be on the list to first come, first serve to have a seat in the class that I will be teaching um, on in September in Round Top, Texas. In at the Glamp Inn. Okay, so moving forward from there, um, there were a few other things. And I don't quite remember what they were. I, <laughs> I just don't at the moment. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Um, even though I slept very well, thank you for all your well wishes. Um, I'm just tired and cold here, and I want to be warm and with the internet <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm ready for my sister to come home. Um, so I have been doing the 100 day craft project and then I also just had a craft show. So I'll be putting those things into my Etsy shop once I get back home. Um, cause I do need, uh, the internet for long periods of time to do that. And we've been working on things here at my sister's together. Um, hold on. I'm reaching. I'm sorry. So I'll just pull those things out in front of me and let me give out some beautiful blessings here. I'm going to try to pull some names that I haven't really called uh, blessings on um, in a little bit. So I'm going back a little farther and I'm going to say beautiful blessings to I'm Rosebud 2, Diane Levy, um, Journal Gigi Hannah, Sandra Redford, um, Robin's Vintage Journey, and beautiful blessings to uh, Whitney Costers and DL. Also, Roxanne O'Hare. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel. So I know you guys are there. Um, I was going to do a video yesterday, but I got caught up in other things and couldn't do the two. So it is today, actual day, day, day that it is. And we're just going to keep going. Um, I'm absolutely loving this little waterfall thing with the pocket in here. I really am. I think it's darling. It's so cute. I really love it. Okay, so what are we going to do today? I didn't really think about it before I turned on the camera. I did pull out some things that I was inspired by. Um, this little piece of fabric, I was inspired by it. And if these little labels here, I have them in my garden um, kit. Let me see. I'm thinking of doing something on here with the label. Um, I'm going to pick one. Maybe this one here. Not quite sure. How are all of you? I hope you're all well. So, yes. Very, very busy I am. Um, ready to go back home and settle in and ready to see zero missing him like crazy 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 you have no idea they keep sending me pictures and i'm just like in awe i'm happy but to get the pictures 
But every time I see a picture, I get a little sad because I ha haven't seen them. <laughs> and I know I'm very fortunate. I, I really am. I'm very fortunate that I got to go back and be closer. And there's many, many grandparents that are far from their grandchildren. And I understand how fortunate I am. Okay, I'm just going to back this little label here. Um, give it some stability. If you hear the dog bark, she's outside sunbathing. It's warmer in the sun. <laughs> I'm not really that warm currently, but it is warmer in the sun. Outside. I mean, it's the same temperature, but the sun is warmer. Whoops. Um, we'll have to see what I'm going to do here. I have a, this trash bucket back here. I'll just put it over here. And that's really all. Uh, yesterday I had a wonderful dinner with my nieces and her boyfriend. And then her boyfriend had a friend over, so he also ate with us. It was very generous of them to ask. Uh, well, I asked. <laughs> I said he could stay. <laughs> I just made two boxes of pasta rather than one. He was very kind. Loved my cooking. So did Gemma. She had some too. She loved spaghetti. We sent her a picture to her to her mama, my sister, because Gemma is not eating very well, of course, because her parents are gone, which is to be expected. She's done that before. Not eat while, while her family is gone. She eats very minimally, sparingly. Okay. So I like this little label here. Cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do. How, how about a little like pockety type baggy like maybe thing? How about that? Possibly. I don't know. Let's see if we I can maybe just glue it around the edges and turn this this way. That could be the back. That might look cute. Let's try it. So a piece of decorative paper and a piece of fabric. Why not? We'll just try it, you guys. What do we have to lose? We don't have anything to lose. If I don't like it, I could, you know, take what's left there. Let me just check a look at the, I'm not going to get the size on there. I'll use a ruler because I did bring that. Let me see. So this is about, well, folding it in. I'm just getting the surface. So it's about five inches. If I made the paper about, let me see. I'd have to make the paper about four and three quarters of an inch in order for it to fold around. And then the top, of course, I'm gonna fold that down. So it's about six. So six inches. And then four and three quarters. So let's give that a try. Now I hope I can get a straight edge on here. I'm thinking that is good. And that's not going to work for me because I need six inches. Unless I mark it. I can mark it. So I'll do the four and three quarters first. That'd be about there. Okay, and then we will do the six, and I'll just mark it. And did I even bring a pen? That part I don't know. I don't think I... Oh, I have my pencil. I'm so cold, you guys. <laughs> Okay. That should work. All right. Whoops. That doesn't belong in the scrap bin. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll put it all in there. Like a silly lady. 
Okay. So, I'm thinking this looks pretty square. Now, I want to... I'm probably going to have to cut off that excess there. And there. So, let's do that first. So, I'm going to have to... This is all folded around. I un... I undid the threading or the, the sewing from it. And I only want it to be coming up at one, like one fold. I don't want it three folds. And right now it's about three folds. Okay. There we go. And we'll just cut here. Whoops. I think I went too thin. Um, I think so. Let me check it. I kind of did. That's okay. I needed to leave an extra part of the fold, but that's all right. We'll make it work. We'll make it work somehow. <laughs> we'll have to cut a little bit more off here. Just do four and a half. Okay. Good enough. And then I think what I'm going to do is fold this down so it's straight. And I'm just going to glue. This is a glue project. Just glue. Don't worry about sewing. And you guys, I'm just trying this out. I, I didn't, I've never done it before. So maybe I should do that straight. I'll cut that straight right there. As straight as I can. <laughs> so I just gonna straighten it out. Okay. Now I'll just take this, hmm, I'm wondering, yeah, because it's going to cause bulk over there. So actually, I'm going to, oh, first I'll glue it, and then I'll cut the corner. It's really cold. The glue is like sticky, getting, getting um, thick. When I worked every day the last time in my studio upstairs, um, I had a heater at my feet at all times. But, of course, that heater is at my new house now. I, did, I had a heater all the time. It's hard to work when it's cold, when you're cold, because your body gets stiff. A little crooked. Let me try to make it straight because it's going to be on the front. Good. Okay. Now I'm just going to snip the little corners here because I need to fold it over. Actually, maybe I should do that after. And look, I'm going to have to shorten it again. Again, uh, maybe I could, let me see. What can I do there? I didn't bring any rickety scissors <laughs> to make a rickety tear. So possibly I could tear it with the ruler to give it like a tear cut. The bag, sometimes, sometimes it's like that. There we go. Okay, and then I would like to put that little thing on here. Doesn't that look cute? I think so. Even though it covers one of his ears, it's okay. I don't mind it. So I think I'm going to use one of these little things here. I'm getting a lot of use out of these. <laughs> I like them. I really do. 
maybe gold. Where's my little tool? Oopsie. So I'll just make a little hole on each side. like that that's cute and I'll just put this in first move it over just a little bit more so in case just in case I have to fold it more okay cute and this could go in like a little pocket so if you have an image on a piece of fabric and you want to make like a little bag from it a little cute little pouchy bag pocket kind of fabricy thing all right so now I'm just gonna take the paper put it back here I'll line it up with everything I need to bring it over just a little more now I cut this too small but that's okay the glue will oh goodness it's too cold where's my other glue I had a smaller one I think I brought it with me to the show just in case I needed to do any repairs so it's in the car okay Strings everywhere. I'm just going to do a, th a thin line because we all know this Fabri-Tac glue holds very well with fabric. So I think it will be okay. And you know what? I did forget to do is that. Let me do this first. I'll do this first on each side and then I'll cut it. I keep forgetting to do lots of things, huh? Thumbs the brakes when you're cold. <laughs> oh, maybe I don't have to. I was going to clip the corners. I will just to get rid of the bulk. Let me push it up on the side. And the only reason why I'm struggling is because I cut too much off the fabric. So you won't have to do that at home. You'll remember because of my mistake. <laughs> I wanted to cut that up there too, but oh well. I missed that opportunity. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, and then let's see here. This side. Don't mind me. There we go. Now, of course, I've never made this before, so... We're just going to go with it. But I see some things where I could have done some better things. But for the meanwhile, maybe we'll just put some washi tape on there. Make it look pretty. Is it this way? Hmm. I don't even know. Well, at least I could get it on there straight. I'm not worried about there because I'm going to come up the sides. Oh, my goodness. Silly me. 
Okay. Just some extra protection. <laughs> And, you know, these are just ideas for you. you. You probably can bounce off them. So, these are like prototypes. There's no... I've never done it before. So, but look how cute. So darling. And then, you can put stuff in there. Maybe I'll do one across the top there to make it all look so even since the washi tape is helping do that I'll just do a straight one looks better here we go how cute oops there's Gemma She's barking up a storm outside. That's darling for a little pocket. I love it. And let's make something to put inside of it since we're here. <clears throat> since we're here, we have a little bit of time. What's this? I took this out yesterday because it inspired me. Maybe we'll make a little tag. Bring it. Um, oh wait, but I have more stuff here that I had out before. Be always happy. Yes, be always happy, you guys. Try to, anyway. Try, try, it's all you can do. And if you're happy, or if you're sad one day, you, when the next day when you wake up, it's a new day. I'm trying to look to see what I could... Oh, look. What if we put this... Will this fit in here? What do you know? It will. <clears throat> we could do it like a little pockety type envelope. Let me see. Maybe if I did it up more. Because there's a flap on here of the fabric. Cute. All right. Let me move on because I'm, I'm not sure. I want to have these tags here. Oh, those, these are cute. I didn't use them somewhere else. I could put a piece of fabric on them or something. Oh, and the baby. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? I'm cold. Don't mind me. I'm cold, you guys. Art and love. Oh, how sweet. Wow. I think I'm going to save this. Hold on, I'm not going to use that for here. Maybe I might use it somewhere else. <clears throat> okay, let's put it back on this. Don't mind me. I'm getting lost in my own thoughts here. I'm silly. I'm silly, you guys. I'm silly and cold. I keep saying that. Don't, also, if you're new to my channel, this isn't my normal routine. Um, I usually craft at a studio my own studio. I'm at my sister's studio at the moment. Not in my element. But keeping my promise of the 100 day craft challenge and I have been crafting for 64. Is it 64 or 65? 65 days in a row. Non-stop. And before the 100 day craft challenge happened, I think was I doing like three or four videos a week? I think so. A few. I was doing a few. 
Okay, I like that on there. I'm loving this Victorian kit, you guys. It's just, it's fabulous for great quick tags. It really, really is fabulous. Let's cut this off here. Now this, this sheet is not released yet. It will be soon. I'm working on a kit. I didn't bring my computer, so I'm not able, I wasn't able to do any computer work. I had planned on all my spare time up here working on kits, but that did not happen for me because I sillily forgot my computer at home. Okay, that's darling. I did have some scrap fabric over here. Let me just check it out. And I think what I'll do is round those corners. And I'm also thinking that I'm going to um, ink them up because they definitely are, it definitely needs an aged look, most definitely. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I keep forgetting about waiting. For the glue to dry. Hold on while I bang it open. If it even wants to open. Let's leave it for a moment because I can't right this minute. Let's go look for ink. I mean fabric. Hold on. I'm coming. My sister gave me fabric here. I'm just pulling it. And I did have some other fabric that I had personally brought. But I I only see one piece of it. Because I know I brought this. I My sister gave me this and this. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't work on this again now. Hold on. Oh, bother. I should possibly wait for it to dry just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's it's cold and damp, so those are the them's the perks. All right. Now what about a little label? I didn't want that to get folded. Complete. Oh, this is a, a tailors and complete outfitters. So clothing. That's good. I can put a clothing label on that little girl or a boy. Because they used to put little boys in dresses too as babies. Not really dresses, but I guess just not. Why? Why? Not really dresses, but I guess. Oh, look. And I put the freaking thing right through the paper. Oh, my gosh. The scissor. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, today's a great day. <laughs> it really is. It's good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get there. I shouldn't even post this video. <laughs> Let me just round the corner here myself. There we go. Okay. I'm going to ink it up. And, I, and these labels here, they're from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Um, we supported Miss Tina at one time when she needed our help. And I think most of us went and bought some digitals. Uh, I know a few of us went and bought all of them. And I know that I was one of them. I have lots, lots, lots of her digitals. There's, she has so many to choose from. So go and take a look at what she has. Um, I like to use this on something. So I'm just going to save that. Okay. And then here, maybe I'll... Go down here where the pink is. I'll do that. 
because I think it's a girl. I'm just going to glue it just a tiny bit. Or sugar. It keeps drying out, drying the top so quickly. It is uh, sh shivering cold. You could be cold. Yeah, here. No. Oh, goodness. And if I work with layers on, uh, it's inhibiting. So <laughs> I don't want to put layers on while I'm working. Okay. I'm going to just trim this up here. All around this is one of my favorite things to do to incorporate fabric into the look of my work I'll even leave that jaggedy edge down there on it and I'm gonna just put this right on the bottom of the picture I'm gonna put more glue on here I actually did it as if I were going to sew it, but I'm not sewing. This is a no-sew project. <laughs> there we go. Just make sure you glue it up all around. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't require, um, you know, a thick, heavy amount of glue. It just requires a little bit of glue to keep it on the fabric on your work the fabric uh you know fabric tack glue it just requires a little bit cute where's that little pouch now because i buried it you know that's what i do i do those things so you'll just have to bear with me while i find it oh dear it's probably right in front of me no yes it is look see it was right over on the cutter oh my goodness how cute and what about if we did some little tabs sticking up i don't mind that idea i didn't bring my whale tail but we can do some little fabric um tags sticking up off the paper oh look i have this too This was, well, no, I don't really want to use it. What about on here? Maybe on here. This was just some collage. I hear um, Miss Gemma, she's going off outside. She's a big protector, family protector. So anything that moves, walks, chirps, burps, whatever they do, <laughs> she will bark. Um, she likes to terrorize the deer that walk up. A There's a mountain across the way. My brother-in-law, he owns the mountain. And, um, well, up to the top. And she, um, I just want to make this a bit smaller. Too. What did, I didn't have it on there. I had it on here. Okay, that's working. Good. Um, she follows the deer, uh, with her barking so if they're walking up uh, up above the mountain and they do it rather quietly you can't hear them or see them during the day unless they step on a stick um she lets you know that they're there <laughs> i like that there and then i'll just clip these little just here and I'm thinking it, it needs something down here the tag and I have lots of things cut out so I don't really quite know what about a label from Roxy Creations looks cute or how about we make it a little pocket and we put some little labels in it we could do that so this is just a little label from Roxy Creations and 
and then we'll just take some cut things and put it in here. Cute. I like it. Of course, it's got to lay flat. It didn't do that, but so we'll put that in here. That's cute. And then we have the little baby girl. She's cute. Um, maybe I might put a thing on there. Hold on. How about, because it says it's clothing, so let's do it like clothing. <laughs> we'll make it like a clothing tag. <clears throat> that would be cute. Here, like that, and I have um, grommets, and I have my grommet tool. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, I could find my string because I'm as I'm looking, I don't. And I'm going to leave this all jaggedy like that. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. Put this on here. good and I would just like some string. Hey, you know what? I'll steal some of my sister's string. Hold on. <laughs> she won't mind. She won't mind. I'll have to take some for home because isn't this pretty? It's a green. <laughs> she won't mind. She won't even know. So I'll just on. Put it through. And then I'm gonna tie it like in a knot, like a clothing string. How cute. Okay. Well, I need some green string for my craft room. All right. And then didn't I have another one? Yes. And... Maybe we'll make this like a clothing tag, too. Um, everybody's got something on the top. So what could we put on the top of it? Ooh, what's this? So the green string has inspired me. <laughs> Just put that over. Like that. Hmm. Okay, we need another grommet. Let's use gold because we do have some gold things in there. Oh, it's a star. We'll use the star. Oh no, I have to change the settings then. I'm too cold. Here, this one. This one's gold. And then I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I have to record the next video, so I'll do that. Um, my sister, uh, gets home late tomorrow night, so I found out I'll be arriving home Wednesday for sure. So I'm going to try to get these videos done. And then, most likely, um, I will not be doing another video here. And I will do one late Wednesday night. So it will be really late for all of you, um, possibly on the East Coast, but the West Coast, you'll enjoy it. You'll probably have a video just around the time you watch videos. Oh. <laughs> um, so I guess I will be coming home Wednesday night.
Oh, love it. So cute. So we incorporated some green into work here. Even though it had a pink vibe at first, it sort of has a greener vibe now. Darling, darling journal cards. So you can journal on the backs of them. And just a cute little fun fabric pocket to put inside a journal, you guys. Um, you can clip it onto a page. I think... Oh no, it's just that. Um, it's darling. I love it. And you could even do something else and put something there. If you had a marker, you could put a number. You could put a label that says something sweet. Um, I don't know what I have here. Look, you can even, I think this is tissue paper. Like, um, oh, it's for clothing. Oh, let's do it. It's small, medium, large. Well, one and two, small, medium, and large. Well, it's like clothing. Why not? Let's look. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> okay. And then I'll say goodbye to you because we did the whole thing with clothing, except for, of course, the flower, but that's okay. So I'm just going to glue this up. And this was from a pattern and I'll say goodbye to you and have a blessed rest of your Monday happy Merry Monday to you all um, if you are new here I I host Merry Monday I'm not doing Merry Monday while I'm here at my sister's um, Merry Monday is if you look at the hashtag hashtag Merry Monday you'll see it's where we work on Christmas projects all throughout the year so that we're not so busy at Christmas time. Um, I think I should do one for crafting. Crafters craft some kind of a day. <laughs> okay, creation day. All right, blessing to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye for now, my crafting buddies.